Halloween just came and went, and people have pushed Halloween aside to get ready for Christmas. Personally, Halloween is one of my favorite holidays of the year. It's the perfect time for us to enjoy fall for all of its beauty, and of course watch our favorite horror movies and cosplay it up and have a great time. But there's one major problem. Most people want Halloween to be thrown out like yesterday's garbage and mainly focus on Christmas and Christmas alone. I get it. Some people don't like Halloween. But do you really have to shove your beliefs down our throats? Halloween is a sacrilegious holiday. If you celebrate this holiday, you're a devil worshiper and you're going to hell. And to make matters even worse, there's people who will protest at their city's chamber of commerce and have Halloween decorations and practices banned just because of their religious beliefs. These are the same people who expect you to be happy during Christmas time. Don't be a Scrooge. You're supposed to be happy during Christmas. Well, what if my cat got ran over by a dump truck? Well, you're supposed to be happy on Christmas anyway! Well, what if my sister got raped by a pack of hyenas? You need to get your ass in church and be happy because Jesus was born on Christmas to save you! Okay, that's all good and everything like that, but why the fuck should we be happy on Christmas when it's not even Christmas yet? Because you're making my kids feel sad because you're not being happy on Christmas! Man, Fuck Christmas, fuck the reindeer, fuck Santa Claus, fuck eggnog, fuck Christmas trees, fuck 24 hours of a Christmas story, and fuck Christmas music. I'll only listen to it when Wink Martindale does his top 100 Christmas songs of all time countdown. And you know, speaking of people shoving shit down our throats, that brings us to our next topic. Royal Baby Fever. Oh my fucking Christ in heaven, have we made it to this point yet? Well... As far as the paparazzi goes, I've already ranted on them brutally during my rant on Kim Kardashian. Go check out that episode of Illogical Ranting if you want to hear that. But Will and Kate's baby bullshit, oh my fucking god! It's bad enough I have to go to shop at Walmart and hear about Christmas every goddamn day of my life, but it doesn't help the fact that I have to see the tabloid headlines overflowing with Will and Kate this, Royal Baby that, blah blah blah, I don't give a shit. You know what I have to say about this? It's all fucking bullshit. For two reasons. One, in the immortal words of Randall Graves from Clerks, I hate when people don't shut up about the stupid tabloid headlines. And two, I could give less than two shits about Will and Kate's royal family. Okay, it's nice to hear they're starting a huge family. But let me ask you this, ladies and gentlemen. When the fuck is too much information enough? It's bad enough when I hear about baby George being born and all that stuff like that. But now it's twins, according to the tabloid headlines. I don't give a shit. She could have had like 10 fucking babies, and I still wouldn't give a shit. But it's not up to the National Enquirer, Globe, and Talk Magazine to shove this bullshit down my throat. And of course, like the Christmas jackoffs, I get to hear all this bullshit. You should be happy and respect Will and Kate for their little miracle. I don't even fucking know them! So why the fuck should I show them respect? They probably don't even give a fuck about me! It's not about you, it's about the children. Fuck the children! Let them get diaper rashes for all I fucking care! Maybe some people like reading about this, so you should feel respectful of them too! I am so sick of these fucking tabloid motherfuckers because they fail to realize that this is all just a paper version of the shit you'll see on Tyra Banks, Dr. Phil, and many others. And I'm sure before Kate has her babies, there's going to be a lot of what I like to call baby drama. That's right. You watch in about a month or two. Kate will be having some problems with her family, accusing her of sleeping with other men, or William is cheating on her, or the Queen of England disowns Kate because she's a total slut. Wait a minute. Wait a goddamn minute. Where have I seen this shit before? <sighs> I'm not even going to finish this goddamn rant. You know what? I'm just going to say it right now. It's just illogical, pure and simple. Fuck Christmas. Fuck the royal baby fever and all that bullshit. I'm going to go watch Debt right now. Because Wink Martindale is more entertaining than this fucking shit. <laughs> Uh, don't mind him, he's a little crank.